Hey everybody, this is Geodroid John, and I'm, today I'm going to show you how I made this articulated Iron Man arm with individual moving pieces with just a few household items. So what I found was that when you grab a little ruler from the store, it's got these pre-drilled holes in it, and it's strong enough to stand up to the twist. So I drilled some holes in the elbow joints, lined it up with the forearm pieces, and you can see how it has a little space to slide back and forth there, giving it some free play. So I drilled those out and I installed some Chicago screws. These are flat heads on the both sides. And it gives me a really good joint. And what I want is that elbow to stay right in line with my forearm. And next you'll be able to see how I installed the actual forearm on this part so that it twists individually. I've given myself three different options here. The bottom one being the position I would like the wrist to be in line with the other joint. The other one where I believe it should be resting most of the time when my arm is down straight ahead in a neutral position. So I figured uh, maybe something halfway along would be best. So I marked the two spots and then I marked the spot right in between those two and I'll give it a shot and see how it looks. The next step is to remove this Chicago screw and place in the ruler underneath it and reinstall it and then it'll extend out and then I'll install the next one right here on the inside of the cuff and I may have to trim it down. And a note on trimming down this kind of acrylic is that you do not want to snap it, it will just break into random shards. You want to cut it in straight lines with like a pocket knife or a small saw and then snap it into the pieces you want and then very carefully trim the edges away. Definitely wearing safety goggles during this and then you can um, file it down with a file like this one I have right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do all those steps and then you'll see the next step. So here's the next step. I've installed that ruler right there and that is the middle point and it, I notice it's a little rigid and a little uncomfortable. So we'll see how this fits. I'll put this on and do a live test and see how it looks. So I just want to show you how this actually holds all together. And what I'm looking for here is that a suit that'll eventually be uh, either self standing or at least will hang without being propped up all of the time. So it is strong enough to hold all the pieces together and it does press fit onto the arm, which is really what I'm looking for. I'm also looking for range of motion uh, and restricting range of motion uh, in the normal way for your arm. I have a much more compliant system. You can see it actually turns with the wrist now, much cleaner. So I really like the way this fits. It does uh, take a little bit of pressure to twist it. Uh, I'm a little concerned about the rulers breaking, but I will be installing some metal bars and like aluminum strips instead. So look for those updates on my Instagram account, which is print from SD 3D. I update all my uh, progress on a story there, a highlight. You can see the entire journey all the way through up to this point. So now let me show you some photos of stuff that I've done already. I've actually got the uh, helmet already uh, completed. It's actually pretty nice looking, very good fit. I, was, uh, I had to cut it up into several pieces and you can see how I did that. The thighs were a little bit more difficult. I had to print out a whole separate thigh. Uh, I made myself a PVC pipe rack here. You can see it's in me some work. And then I'm working on the back. Uh, the back pieces are uh, several pieces and this one look really good. Um, long, long hours. You can see the print times written on there and it's coming together. I only have one more piece to print and that's where we are right now. Thanks guys, see you later.